Uh, now, what about this? Super Rugby set to light up your Sunday afternoon on Fox Sports. The Waratahs and the Blues in Sydney kick off 4pm Eastern. It is family day at Allianz Stadium, but you can also park yourself in front of the TV with the family. We'd love you to do that. Uh, look out for Ref Cam as well on Sunday. Now, the Waratahs will be trying to hit back from a loss to the Cheetahs. It was a match they really should have won. I sat down with uh, Coach Michael Checker this week and began by asking him whether he ever expected to be one from four at this stage of the season. Don't expect anything. Expectation only leads to regret. Mate. What you've got to do is follow, have a plan, follow that, assess when maybe it not, may not be working on the odd occasion. doesn't mean you just blindly follow it. But I see that the way we're going, we're uncovering um, uh, in our team the players who want to be a part of that process and some that are struggling to be a part of that. And that doesn't make them a worse person. I'm still, you know, still part of my team and we'll do whatever we can. Just shows who wants to be a part of that and who doesn't. That's, that's what we have to do, have a clear identity, a way we do things. One win from 12 games. I know you've only been here five minutes, but uh, how much is the past affecting the present at the TARS? Maybe uh, there's some guys who have, have got uh, anxiety around actually going on and becoming a winner. And we just keep working at it. You know, there's, there, what's happening at the moment is there's no lack of effort. As a coach, how do you first manage the mental anxiety that exists from past seasons and then try to eradicate it altogether? What we do is we develop a strong team of leadership, which I'd say has probably been left unattended here since Phil Wall left. He was a very strong leader. Right? They decided to move him on and maybe didn't prepare for, his, uh, for, for the void of leadership. Now we've got a real strong group of leaders that we're developing. Dave Dennis, real, I, I see as a, as a guy who's got a lot of ambition for the province and really has hunger to win. You're trying to make all these changes to the game plan. How long will it be before those changes stick? Couldn't tell you. I would have hoped it happened day one, you know. Like, really? Well, I'm not. You know, you have that, you have that ambition, you've got to have ambition. I'm not going to say, well, I'm going to have a three-year plan or a two-year, you know, I have ambition to play like we want to play straight away. I'm not naive of that. That's what I love to see. So, um, I don't know when it's going to happen. It's going to happen one day, it's going to start clicking for us and guys are going to believe a bit more of it. I'd say there's going to be a bit more roller coaster before it happens. Some people will say, some Waratahs fans will say, well, I'm not sure there's the cattle there to execute the game plan that you want to execute. What do you say to that? Well, it's all about desire. Like, if you want to play a certain way, you will. You know, you'll make mistakes getting to that. It's normal, right? I mean, it's not hard. Pass the ball, shift it on, run hard. It isn't. It isn't. It's not that complicated. How patient will fans have to be until they see this new brand of rugby on a consistent basis? Oh, I don't understand this whole concept that you guys have here around fans being patient and like, like what, what else can I do? Like, there's, not, there's nothing I can do about it. So I'm like, like, you earn the right to get people on board, new people, kids, um, uh, people who perhaps have left the fold because they're disappointed. And I, I, don't, I understand that. Right? Well, I'm not on a crusade to bring crowds back, right? I, I want to change the team in its mentality, how it perceives itself, how we're seen by the, our, our fans and other people, our oppositions as well, and also how we play the game.